Hello and welcome to another Havoc Sons video. Uh, I'm actually going to try to start working on this uh, old, this old rear rim to a Huffy bicycle that belonged to my daughter. I've actually restored the bike. You can see it in earlier videos, but this didn't work. So I I bought and plus th these are I think these are 17s. And what's on her bike right now? are 14 rims uh I, I bought 14s just to make it a little bit easier for her to ride but i'm going to try to restore this so basically all i did was i took this off and this this part right here uh screws in here but i wanted to save you the bother bother of unscrewing this because that's a long shank uh and what i notice is that there are so what's happening is the brake system doesn't work. Interesting. It, yeah, it's like, wow. It's like glue. <laughs> the grease is like glue. Which I'm pretty sure is what's causing the, the brake system on this back rim not to work pretty sure now I think these are called Bendix brakes I think but I I, I, I kind of remember they're being called Bendix coaster brakes but I may be wrong so I like I said I ended up throwing this rim away because it was rusted and everything but I got so good at when I restored the other bike that uh, I think I can save this rim. If, in fact, I can get the Bendix system to work. Now, I'm not going to take apart the whole hub because I think what's wrong here is the grease inside here has just solidified. Uh, it's come, it hasn't become grease. It has become glue. So I think if I can clean it up a little bit, and put new grease in there. You know that I it might I might be able to get it to work again. At least that's my theory. <laughs> I may be wrong. Oh, if you guys are. Looking for a better glove than the blue nitrile? I got these at O'Reilly's. They're textured. They're nitrile, but they're textured. But I mean, I've what I do is I wash them after I work, and I reuse them. I got a box of a hundred, but my goodness, I've had these probably three weeks, and at least ten different projects. You know me. I'm always into something. Can't stay still. And uh, I'm sure you've noticed if you've ever worn blue nitrile and you start to get into a project and then halfway into the project, right when you, you really can't stop, they tear. Well, so far, these have not. Okay, so again, my plan is to just to clean off all this grease and see if I can get the coaster system working again. <laughs> I'm waiting for someone to comment on the table. <laughs> yeah, I drive my wife crazy. You know what? If you were here right now, you would understand why. This is the most gorgeous area ever. I mean, can I? I'm sorry. I'm shaking the camera, but I, I want to show you the view out over there. I mean, it's just endless trees. This is my backyard. So, uh, God, it's a horrible tripod. It's like glue. I think I mentioned that before. I used to love Sunpack. 
Um, so now that I use it more and more and more, I'm becoming not a fan. I realize that they're just cheaply made. And more importantly, try to get a part. You know, those little, I even forget what they're called. Those little clips that you clip on. Uh, if one of those gets broken or lost, try to get another one that fits, that works correctly. Uh, I'm, no, because of their, well, a lot of things. Uh, they're just using them a lot. They're not robust. They cause me problems. Customer service is horrible. Their website, try to find help on it. Oh, look at that. It stops now. It didn't do that before. Of course, I'm going to go in and re-grease it. But I just want to see if this works. But I think I'm right. Before, it used to just spin. So whatever those little metal pieces are, um, they weren't, they were just sticking. And they didn't. If I didn't have these gloves on, I swear I would. Uh, well, they didn't work. They just stuck. And it, the, the, the rim spun no matter what you did. Ply brakes, didn't ply brakes. It, it, it didn't work. And uh, I'm trying to keep my train of thought here. If I wasn't wearing these gloves, I swear I would uh, relieve you of this. This part of the video right now where I'm trying to put this bolt back on but because I'm wearing the gloves unless I edit it and I, I, I just like free ball in it you know I don't I don't like editing uh, unless it's I got some videos planned though Wow I got some really nice videos planned well I probably shouldn't put that one on yet because I don't want to lock it so anyway Let's just see. All right, that's coasting. Oh, it works. See, before you did this, it would just keep spinning. Wow, it works. Successful job. So all it was, was the grease had become, not grease, but like glue. And those little four pieces that were in there that float were not able to do whatever it is they do. And if I think on it long enough, I could probably figure it out what, what it is they do. But hey, I just wanted it to work. So now that I got it to work... I am going to be in the process for restoring that. And that will probably be a later video. Like always, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you've got an old rear bike tire rim that, that won't break anymore, all you really have to do is just take the Bendix apart. It's just this, these bolts just come off. You can un unscrew it off. And you don't have to take it all apart. Just take off the part where the gear is. Pull it all out and then put some super clean on, which I wholeheartedly believe in this stuff. Clean it all out to where it frees them and then maybe re-grease it with some better grease. So anyway, thank you for watching. Have a great day and a better life. See ya.